Start with you, Coach. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, well, all uh, that was a good win. That was a good win. Um, we haven't beat San Diego State in two years, and the whole goal, <laughs> regardless, was to win and not have, make it three. Uh, to do it at home and <clears throat> you know down 20 nothing I don't know if, if I didn't have a little panic maybe but um, these guys these guys did a great job they fought uh, you know through the first quarter or excuse me the first half and you know second half it was it was pr pretty simple do your job execute it to the best of your ability and let's go out there and find a way to win I mean I don't that's really all that was said. There was nothing, uh, no raw, raw. I mean, that was it, period. And that's really what it came down to. I do think um, Cleshawn Page's interception was big. Grant's play in the second half was big. Jay running the football, Thomas Spurbeck, guys making plays, uh, Chris Santini's punt, you know, fake punt. I mean, there was... Uh, and at the same time, we had we had plenty of uh, you know the defense stepping up and getting them in third and two, and then making them punt. You know, there's a lot of big things that happened in that game. <clears throat> you know, there's enough little blunders in there too. We know that you know we got to go back and look at it. And but that's football, and it's against a good team, and it's against a team that's had our number for a couple of years, and we kind of rewrote history tonight. And that's what the the whole goal was. Uh, really proud of our team. Uh, because those guys came out and they fought and they did exactly what they needed to do to win the game and, and to seal the game there at the end. And Grant, I mean, there's no bigger play at the end of that when you're, you know, a three-point game or whatever it is, and he runs off a, a touchdown run off to the left there and, and seals it. So, uh, <laughs> just a, <clears throat> you know, exciting game, crazy game. There's been a lot of stuff that's gone on this week. Um, that I think we've just kind of laid low on it, and we tried to go out there for three and a half hours and just do the talking on the field, and we did it. So, proud of our guys, um, and man, just really, really happy that uh, you know we're in the position that we're in. You know, we know that we have a chance to to continue to play for an opportunity to to win the conference and all that. And um, but again, next week we'll be try to be the same thing we're this week. Want to know? That simple, and we'll go back to that tomorrow, and, and we'll work on that uh, same mindset for Wyoming. So, with that, open up for questions. Jay, uh, you, you kind of hinted on it, Coach. I mean, uh, <clears throat> there were a few things that came out of San Diego State this week about uh, you know maybe the, the Boise State brand being not as strong as it was you know a few years ago. How much did you guys hear that, and how, how do you guys use that as, as motivation? Um, I don't know. I guess the the big eighty inch TV in the locker room. Uh, it said, believe in your brand. So I think that was a pretty big deal, you know. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of motivating I had to do this week. Um, you know, we, uh, we put it up on the TVs in the locker room there, and it was pretty simple. So I think our guys understood. Um, we don't like to be in that position, nor do we like to be talked about that way. And the bottom line is that has nothing to do with the game. The game is played on the football field. It's played tonight in front of our fans who were tremendous and did a great job of helping us win this football game. And, and that was it, simple as that. So, um, you know, that's the one thing I, that, I, that I enjoyed about this week uh, is our guys, you know, they don't, they don't buy into that stuff. Uh, they read it, they see it, it motivates. And, you know, we're not going to do that. So the bottom line is go out there and try to rewrite history, and we did that. Coach, uh, you fell down 14 points last week, 20 points tonight. Uh, there could have been a lot of turning points in this game, I guess, but it, to get those points in the first half before halftime and particularly that uh, touchdown drive there in the final two minutes to cut it to 2010, I guess how, how big was, was that when you were going to get the ball to coming out of there? Awesome. You know, because we knew we'd come in there, what was it, 10 to 20 at that time? All right, so we go in there. I thought Coach Sanford did a tremendous job, two-minute offense, work it every week, and there we are. You know, no bigger time than to have that. We go in. We don't get that. It's going to be, you know, there's going to be a problem. Um, but we felt like coming out that we would be okay. It's going to be 17 to 20. We're going to get the ball back. It'll be 17 to 20. We'll score again. It's going to be 24 to 20. You know, they're not going to score. I mean, those type of things come in your mind. Like we're going to get this thing right. Uh, we came out and got three. You know, they didn't, and our defense held them. What? No, excuse me. We came out and got nothing early on. Then we got seven. Um, our defense held them to nine, and we won the fourth quarter, 21 to six. You know, bottom line. So, 
it was a matter of time. It was a little bit like last week, just kind of chipping away, you know, and and uh, getting everybody kind of juiced back up again. The run game was going. The D-line was playing well. O-line really rose to the occasion, and, and guys just started making plays. And simple as that. We were doing our jobs and executing them well, and that's really all that needed to happen. Yeah. Again in this game, kind of putting it, you know, on the on the running game's hands and just kind of grind it out. Just your thoughts on what you're able to do late in the game? Well, if you guys go back, and I believe it was the UConn game, and we just couldn't seal it, you know, and we talked about the four minute offense then, and it's like, guys, we need to, if we're going to win games in the future, and we won that game, you know, we have to be a good four minute O team, and that's what showed up. You, you found some things that we could do, that we could get downhill, that we could be physical. I, you know, we got on the perimeter a couple times for two big runs. But they did a good job on the perimeter. Uh, we weren't really doing a great job running sideways too often. Jay had a big one and Grant had a big one, but those were good play designs. You know, we just had it set up. The rest of it was downhill, inside, O-line, pushing piles. I mean, they're moving them for three, and Jay's hitting them for six. And, you know, we're able to run it. And then Grant, you know, throws his flavor onto it as well. Wide receivers are blocking. Tight ends are, are setting the edge. So, um that's just getting into a rhythm and a flow. And we want to run the ball. We've, we've never shied away from that. That's who we are. We'll run the football. Um, and we need to run in that situation to win. And we did. Coach, uh, you're down 23-10 <coughs> and you're on the verge of giving it right back to him. And then you called the fake part uh, from your own 32. What uh, did you see on that play? And I think you outscored him 28-6 to after that play. Uh, really changed the momentum of the game. I didn't see anything. I had my eyes closed, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I just, the, the way the game was going, I, I talked to Coach Riddle and just said, we need something. And it's going to come from special teams. And we obviously have things you work on. Um, you know, that's that's something that's been in our arsenal for a long time. And it, it's a little bit funny, but we talked about it this week. You know, about we've, we've repped it so many times in practice. I mean, we, we kind of say it's, it's marinating, you know, and, and uh, it's time. And, you know, bottom line is we got the right look. It was calculated. We got the right look. Coach Riddle did a great job with the play design, and the guys all executed it. And they executed it just like they do in practice, and Chris took the snap, and that has looked just like that look tonight in practice. And I don't think anybody was surprised when it, it hit, uh, and that was a momentum changer. That was a lot like Kamale's block punt you know, last week. So whatever. I mean, it comes on special teams, and that gets the mojo going, fine. We'll keep trying to find ways to, to create that somehow. Oh yeah. 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 Getting spun yeah. and all that. Yeah, that's done. That's big. You know, that's, but you're you're going to a guy that's got reps, been making plays all year long, and you know Shane was. I mean, he's nodding the whole time. It was just a matter of time. He knew he was going to get his opportunity, and he did. And he made a big play on it. We got the first down, and then. You know, I thought, uh, I think we ended up fairly decent on third downs, and probably in the second half, uh, we were able to convert. You know, we keep those drives alive. That's where, you know, we have a chance to, to go down there and finish the drive out, and that gave us a chance to do it. Coach, uh, two questions. The first, uh, Paige's interception that set the go ahead score for you guys uh, seemed to turn momentum in your favor. Talk about that a little bit, and also uh, Jay's guy getting kind of had his troubles in the first half, but we got going at the end of the third and in the fourth quarter. Yeah. I caught, I'll be honest with you, I caught the tail end of Clee's interception. I, I saw it looked like a great catch. You guys probably saw it better than I did. I don't know where it was. I just saw him taking off to the left, and I caught the tail end where everybody's going. I think he's going to take it all the way. And he was he was running. You know, I mean, we thought that he'd go score. Um, but, I mean, look at the field position he put us in. You know, we're, we're down in a the position there. I mean, our, our percentage of scoring goes up um, quite a bit when we're in that situation. So, great, great play by him. Uh, and he's made plays throughout the year. Um, and your second question was? Oh, about the Jai, how it took him over. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was Jay. I think it was, uh, you know, I mean, the entire offense. I don't think it was one particular player. We didn't, we weren't really firing on all cylinders, you know, coming out. And, and it took us a minute. Um, I think we just needed to understand let's just do our job let's do what we practice to do let's go out there and execute at the very very best to our ability uh, and, and that's exactly what they did 
And, you know, once they were doing that, you could see it in their, in their eyes. You know, they're ready to keep going. And, you know, I was proud of those guys for that. Coach, uh, the second straight game, Capo <coughs> wasn't in there. I wonder if you could talk about his status. And it seems like he came out of today's game pretty, pretty good health-wise. Yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're healthy. Um, you know, Boston wasn't active tonight. Uh, and then we'll see where we are next week. Getting a chance to uh, clear the field yesterday. Just talk about what, you know, your <coughs> experience that was for you. And were there any players that helped out with that as well? Um, we we were on the field. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we came out there on the field. No, we. Uh, there was there was a lot. Let me just say this. I mean, if you were here, people from every department uh, in the athletic department are out there shoveling. All right. Whether it's the field, <laughs> I saw guys on machines. I never thought they could drive machines like that. All right. And they were having fun with it, but everybody was just trying to clear it out and make it the very best we could. We got some special guests here on campus too, and and uh, you know we're trying to do it first class. And this was one of the things that that happened. And you know what? When that happens, everybody jumps in and starts 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 helping out. So, um, but that's to me. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, that's just that's the mindset. And you know, you see our AD out there shoveling snow, and he's out there all day doing it, and all the, everybody in that department. You know what? It's important. This was a big game. It's important to everybody. It's not just important to our team and the coaches and all that. It's important for everybody. Uh, it's important for our fans. They're important to us. So, I mean, that just right there. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. You know, we'll do whatever it takes to to try to help ourselves be successful, and then we'll go out there and work to get it done. Yeah, that's their decision. Um, coaches were not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I think that, you know, that's that's a mindset. You know, talking about their shirts and all that. No, has it been this cold? No, I don't remember that. Uh, and I, I probably don't because I was in the box quite a, quite a bit. So a um, few comments from up in the box there, hot chocolate and things like that from those guys. So we, maybe we'll put them down there on the field against Wyoming. I don't know. But um, it was cold and... It's, you know, the field was great. The conditions for the field were perfect. Um, I'm sure the stands were freezing. And we still had quite a few people out there. I mean, you walked out there, and I was like, we got a lot of black in the stadium there, which is exactly what we wanted. So uh, it is what it is, man. We were ready to play. Uh, I do think the conditions had some effect, you know, on both teams. And, and I know it does, um, you know, especially at the quarterback position. But it is what it is. I mean, we're, we're playing in it, and if that's what happens, you know, we come back home again against Utah State, we'll be ready for it. Coach, you probably would like to make it a little easier on yourselves these last two weeks, but you got two <coughs> wins in the end, and I guess two regular season games left. Just, I guess, big picture moving forward, we're going to have another late, probably cold game next week on the road, and yeah. just, just, I guess, just try to go 1-0 and again. How, how do you look yeah. at where you guys are at with two games left? Well, I mean, we put ourselves in the position to have a chance to play for a championship. Um, we're not there yet, but at least we have that chance. Um, there's a lot of teams right now at this time of year that don't have that opportunity. Um, there's probably half, and there's half the teams that do. So the bottom line for us is, and I've told you guys this every week, we, we're better off just operating on a week-to-week -week basis. We don't do very good when we start looking ahead. Uh, I don't think that happened tonight. Um, no, Wyoming's very good. No, they're very well coached. Their coaches won two national championships. Uh, they played teams very tough, and we're going to be in an environment like we are tonight. So uh, we go take care of that, and we'll talk about the next week. But we do know we have a chance to play for our goal, and that's really exciting. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's something that's motivating, and um, I know our guys appreciate it, and they're going to go work to take care of this week um, and go out there and play well on Saturday. Okay, thanks, guys. <coughs>